I think you can't be successful without having failures, and I don't think that success leads you anywhere. Because when you're successful, you tend to repeat those things you already know how to do, and they become terrible crutches. Nothing like a good sloppy failure to wake you up and make you reinvent. When I began working on environmental uh, projects and I didn't understand materials yet and I didn't uh, understand what was possible and what was impossible, I think I did things that were incredibly creative simply because I didn't know what I was doing. Uh, where now I find it harder um, to be as innovative as I think I was earlier because I know too much. So I have to find something that I really don't know how to do. But I find that um, that's always the most exciting challenge, to be, to be ignorant. And I like it when I'm, I kind of am making some big mistake or doing something that you're not supposed to do, like painting a whole building or you know, that sort of thing, you're, where, you, where people thought, gee, what are you doing? And then, and then it becomes iconic. But you don't, you don't know it at the time. You just think, that would be great. And you sort of make a Photoshop rendering and you think, wow. I mean, I started out as an art director, art directing record jackets and I used to do about 150 covers a year and they were all squares and they were all the same and I was in my 20s and it was an absolutely great job but I never thought I would be designing the insides of buildings or the outsides of buildings or rethinking parks or um, uh, doing massive global identities or painting. I didn't think I'd be doing any of that. Designers have to grow um, because otherwise design doesn't grow. I mean, designers as they're producing and, and making things cannot rely on past successes because that is the path to mediocrity. If you make what is already perceived as good, by definition you're mediocre. But you have to find the next way to do it that hasn't been thought of before. Very often you make failures on your way to do that because it involves experimentation and it involves risk taking. What I try to do to make those sorts of graphic breakthroughs is to work on projects either where I'm totally unqualified for the job, so I, I don't know what I'm doing and I make a mistake by accident that turns out to be terrific. Or I take a, a piece of uh, design, a, a project that is a, I can take on a pro bono basis, usually for a graphic arts organization, and experiment with it. And that these things are very important to me. And I do that, I would consider that R&D, you know, that, that it's part of um, maintaining a viable design practice is that you are always looking to grow and to change. That if you're, it, it, if you are, in any form of business and you do the same thing over and over again and you're not growing and changing with your time and not looking for the next best way to be expressive, you will be out of business. It's not just true for designers, it's true for everybody.